yeah today we are going to discuss the different terminology we will use in the design of a brushless dc machine so it's better to be to be acquainted with uh, some basic terms so these terms we will frequently use it in our designs so the first terminology is advanced angle so what is meant by advanced angle so in uh, brushless dc machine bldc machine the advanced angle that is that defines the timing of current commutation in relation to the rotor position so rotor position and current commutation what is the difference that angle we will say advanced angle and the air gap diameter that is also another terminology we will use so whatever the air gap is there the diameter from middle of air gap to the middle of air gap on the opposite side so that's what air gap diameter and we have the air gap thickness how much air gap we kept in this design that is nothing but distance between the rotor surface and the stator surface the surface to surface distance generally we will say it as air gap thickness and average conductor length so this is entire mean length we will consider average length of a conductor including length of end winding so from starting to finish the entire length of that we will say average conductor length and if we are simulating simulating the bldc machine motor there are some boundary conditions in finite element analysis so this discussion of uh, different possible boundary conditions and uh, their significance so when uh, when we, we designed it there, there 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 may be some some cases when uh, motor speed exceeds certain level it may get damaged all the mechanical uh, things may get broken so uh, we can study all these things in this uh, boundary condition analysis and uh, next one is uh, brushless ac machine what is meant by brushless ac machine so uh, this is nothing but how we will we will discuss how to choose d and q axis components of uh, sinusoidal three phase currents feeding the blac machine and uh, brushless dc machine this term we will use Uh, how to connect uh, star and uh, delta in the bldc machines the uh, another term coil span this word we will use most frequently the coil span is the distance between one conductor of a certain phase and the corresponding return conductor same 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 term the return conductor uh, the distance between those two we will consider like a coil span concentrated winding so concentrated winding when the number of slots per pole per phase is a fractional and uh, strictly lower than one in that case generally we will say it is like a concentrated winding and uh, conductor losses conductor losses generally uh, that will result due to heating joule heating of uh, electric electrical current in the conductors so that is the conductor losses and uh, we have delta star connection these are the two different uh, possibilities we have in three phases one is star connection another one is delta connection we have demagnetization concept this is the loss of magnetization of uh, permanent magnets due to high temperature or uh, inappropriate operating conditions due to this uh, there will be demagnetization in the core and uh, another terminology is uh, electrical frequency electrical frequency is the fundamental frequency of current and voltage at the machine terminals generally we will measure in hertz and end winding leakage inductance leakage inductance of the winding end terms we have fractional slot winding a winding is called fractional slot winding when the number of slots per pole per phase is fractional and it is uh, more than 1 in that case we will call it as a fractional slot winding and uh, integer slot winding a winding is called integer slot winding when the number of slots per pole per phase is an integer in this case we will say it is a integer slot winding it should be like a 3 or 4 or 5 like that yeah lamination thickness so the all the magnetic material we will use with a laminated sheets generally the thickness of the iron lamination sheets varies between 0.05 to 0.5 mm in most of the electrical machines 
the choice of lamination thickness depends upon balance between performance and cost so if you need a better performance then i mean uh, the lower losses and lower no load loss and all then the cost will be high if cost to be low means <laughs> obviously everything will be high high losses and performance is uh, not that much superior and we might study the lcm concept least common multiple between number of holes and number of slots so this value this value is the lowest number that is multiple of both uh, number of holes and the number of slots generally it is an indicator for what levels of cogging top we can expect on this uh, machine and the machine length the active length of machine that is the length of the stator and rotor iron cores so this is the machine length we will say we have magnet angle the magnet angle is uh, provided in electrical degrees and uh, defines the width of surface mounted permanent magnets whatever permanent magnets are there they uh, the entire width it will determine and we have another term magnetomotive force the magnetomotive force generally is uh, abbreviated as mmf in uh, any physical driving force such as a current in a coil that produces a magnetic flux and we have magnetic radius surface radius radius of uh, breadth of a magnet that that we will call it as a magnetic radius so most of the terms uh, we will deal with magnets in this uh, bldc and apart from the stator the magnet thickness the magnet thickness is uh, a geometry template parameter in a tool that defines the thickness of permanent magnet in their middle that is one thing magnet width width of breadth of magnet that is the magnet width we have mechanical speed the mechanical speed is nothing but uh, the revolutions per minute speed of the rotor it can be rpm or it can be rps also revolutions per second yeah and negative magnetic periodicity machines with uh, concentrated windings and a negative magnetic periodicity you can simulate it faster and uh, because the negative portions we can just uh, cut into off number of conductors per slot De this defines how many conductors that are placed in one slot that's what number of conductors per slot we have a uh, number of parallel paths the winding of an electrical machine can be split into certain number of parallel paths in order to adjust the voltage and the current ratings to those uh, of a specific supply this is this is what number of parallel paths we will say number of slots per pole per phase uh, this is uh, another parameter the number of slots per pole per phase uh, it determines how the winding layout is uh, arranged it is also disclosing information about the winding factor and uh, its harmonics and we have number of winding layers the number of layers indicates the number of different coils in a slot number of different coils in a slot and uh, number of winding symmetries the number of winding symmetries indicates the number of uh, rotational symmetries in the winding layout it also indicates the machine periodicity and we have phase resistance electrical resistance of the winding conductors in uh, one phase that is the phase resistance permanent magnet uh, tolerance permanent magnets do not only vary in magnetic moment and uh, magnetization direction their properties may also differ considerably depending upon the size and shape of uh, actual magnet so that is the uh, tolerances and the basic uh, phase voltage the voltage across the phase winding that is the phase voltage and we have the power factor this is the ratio between real and apparent power that is the power factor and uh, reduction of coil span this is another one this value expresses the reduction of coil span compared to full fit higher the reduction of coil span the shorter the end turns of your winding yeah and another one is a shaft diameter shaft diameter is a diameter of the hole in iron laminations 
that contain the shaft that's what the shaft diameter and we have another parameter slot fill factor ratio between cross sectional area of all conductors in one slot and the entire slot area this ratio generally gives the slot fill factor and uh, slot opening width the slot opening width is the distance between two tooth tips whatever tooth we have the two tooth tips the distance is slot opening width we have stacking factor stacking factor is the ratio of electrical steel along the length of iron the electrical steel along the length of iron to the length of iron core yeah we have temperature of conductors that conductor temperature is an input necessary in order to calculate conductor losses and the machine efficiency i mean uh, at what temperature the conductors are currently operating yeah and we have tool width width of the stator teeth that is the the tool tooth width and we have another factor uh, like a uh, torque ripple the torque ripple in electrical machines is caused by caused by many factors such as the uh, cogging torque the interaction between mmf and uh, the air gap flux harmonics or uh, mechanical imbalances or, uh, otherwise uh, eccentricity of the rotor there are some different things uh, that will cause for uh, torque in uh, ripple we have unbalanced winding what is unbalanced winding unbalanced winding has a combination of number of holes and the number of slots that does not allow to arrange the coils in such a way that they produce symmetrical system of equally time dis time phase displaced emfs of uh, identical magnitude frequency and waveform and we have winding factor the winding factor for a specific uh, ex winding expresses the ratio of flux linked by the winding compared to that would have been linked by a single layer full phase non skewed integer slot winding with the same number of turns and uh, one single slot per pole per phase so the torque of an electric motor is uh, proportional to fundamental winding factor this is the winding factor and the winding layout is uh, the arrangement of coils of each phase in this slot how we arrange the uh, each phase in this slot so, yeah uh, these are the different terminology guys we will use in our design of uh, machines electrical machines mainly the bldc machine yeah keep connecting with me stay connected and subscribe to this channel for many more updates